Hello? Hey, kid. A mutual friend needs our help. Logan? But how did you get... I have my ways. Look, you want to help or not? <sighs> Depends on the friend. Aurora Monroe. Oh, of course. I'm free now. Good. You know where to find us. <laughs> where the trouble is. Eliana, thank you for coming. Aurora, you can always count on me. A friendship for all seasons is a powerful thing. Thank the goddess for that. We miss you at the school. You are always welcome home. I found my home with the Midnight Suns. But that does not mean I leave friends behind. What is the problem? A year ago, the Professor detected a mutant living here with dormant abilities. I met with her, a fierce young woman named Dahlia, and invited her to attend Xavier's school. She declined. The orphanage was all she knew. I came here today to see if she had changed her mind, but... According to the orphanage, she disappeared three months ago. Let me guess. As soon as her powers manifested. It's my fault. I didn't want to push her. To take her away from the only place she felt safe. I thought she could hide in plain sight a bit longer. I was wrong. You did what you thought was right. As you always do. Dahlia would never harm another person. And now she slipped through the cracks. Another ghost in the wind. This city is not kind to its ghosts. Especially not when it's infested with vampires. That's why we're gonna find her before they do. They already found us. Protect the children, at any cost. As if preying on the innocent wasn't enough for them, they come for the most vulnerable. I would call them cowards, but they are just mindless scavengers looking for an easy meal. I've got something they can chew on right here. Ah, Logan. Together again. Just like old times. Gods would not stand before us as arrogantly as you have.
look to the skies. gets the job done. How long have you been waiting to do that? This is what you came for. This is gonna hurt. As they say, it gets the job done. I should have been more vigilant. Dahlia was on her own here, alone with her burgeoning abilities. There was only so much you could do. Think how many mutants have faced the same difficulties. All of them. It seems a requirement of our upbringing to face such undeserved trials. It falls to us to ensure that doesn't happen. Not here. Not here. Whatever works for you. Still getting better after all these years. Now you will find peace. It ain't even satisfying tearing these things apart. I can't tell if they even care. They may not be. The lords over these pitiful creatures will miss them. Probably making more as quickly as we end them. You're just a ray of sunshine today, kid. I am always a ray of sunshine. Reflected into your eyes. <laughs> That's the magic I know. At least we got here in time to protect the children.
bother protecting society's dregs, hmm? It is beneath your stature. Beneath me, all I see is you. The new breed vampires are an evolution, just as mutants were before them. But vampires continue to grow. <laughs> mutants remain tethered to humanity. A broken branch on the evolutionary tree. These cast-offs are not your family. They are fuel. There is a food chain. And it is time we ate up. Surely you see it. Just as mutants push humanity ever closer to the ash heap, so too will this new breed. It is the natural order of this world. There is nothing natural about what you've done. Any mutant seeking to dominate humanity does not speak for us. You will leave this world alone and forgotten. Realize their mistake. truly evolved, you would see how your actions against those who cannot defend themselves are misguided. Oh, does humanity shed a tear for their countless meals? Do they care about their meat? One does not justify the other. Your mind is twisted. <laughs> 
Or maybe I am seeing things more clearly than ever. Whatever works for you. Bring what you got. We cannot return back. Nice move, Bob. Bad luck for you, Bob. They say it gets the job done. I wasn't even trying that hard. allow you to spread this plague across the world. My kind have little to fear from you. We are the future! They're not scared yet. They'd better get started. That will do. time. You aren't good enough for me. Ready? And comes for us all eventually.
the forces of the future should understand the struggle my kind has faced better than anyone. You chose to align yourself with these creatures. Our paths are nothing alike. I chose to move beyond the limitations of humanity, and I have no regrets! Are you prepared? That must have taken They would still battle the elements? So it is. Whatever gets the job done. Let your guard down. There's still more coming. gets the job done. Now for something real special. This 
to take into practice. your time. We prevail for now. was a quarter of my power. I'm glad the training stayed with you. The danger room left an impression. As you did, with Sin. She won't be back. It's why she was here in the first place that concerns me. Agreed. This is bigger than us. If we're going to take on Sin... And find Dahlia. We need reinforcements. Most of the X-Men are off-planet dealing with the Shi'ar brood war. Don't worry. The Midnight Suns will help. Storm, is it? Indeed. You must be the hunter. Magic told me about you. Why does that make me nervous? <laughs> Nothing but good things, I promise. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. I must say, this place is unlike anything I've seen before. There is an air of mystery and wonder, but it feels welcoming and safe all at the same time. How curious. The Abbey is special. It even holds secrets that I have not uncovered. Sounds unique indeed. I can already see the similarities between here and Xavier's school. Speaking of, what do you think is the most interesting part of the Abbey? Those who reside here make each day interesting and fresh. Yes, the people are the lifeblood of a community. I can say the same for Xavier's school as well. The students are all colorful characters. There is never a dull moment in these halls. <laughs> If there was ever silence, I would grow worried. Apologies. I have been dominating the conversation. Have you any questions for me? Yes, I have a few. By all means, ask away. Can you tell me about your background? I won't go into too much detail, but I was left orphaned as a child. I learned how to fend for myself and became a skilled pickpocket. You stole from others? To survive. And it worked. I scraped by. After a few years, my mutant abilities presented themselves, and I was approached by Xavier to join the X-Men. The rest is history. I feel like you are leaving some parts out. <laughs> Perhaps. My past is just that. It is behind me, and I prefer to focus on what is ahead. I saw bright lights coming from your hands. What was that? It's a little complicated, but I have the power to control the weather and atmosphere. What you saw back there was electricity. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, now I understand the meaning behind your name. Thunder and lightning don't roll off the tongue as easily. You said your powers are complicated. May I ask how? Maybe I'll go into full detail another time. But let's just say I can't mess with Mother Nature too much. I see. Like checks and balances? Exactly. What is your given name? Aurora Monroe. What about yours? The Hunter. Short and sweet. I like it. Does your name hold any significance like mine does? 
I was told it meant beauty. A little embarrassing, but I understand the intent. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. So, what do you think of Storm? She seems promising. Seems promising? She is one of three people I will follow into battle without question. I, I did not realize how much you respected her. She was my mentor. Of course I respected her. But it had to be earned first. Some leaders blather on to avoid making tough decisions. But not Storm. She did not go into much detail about the extent of her powers, but they sound impressive. Impressive? <laughs> she is 100% grade A badass. 100 badasses. Got it. Ah, oh, you are hopeless. Thank you for offering your aid, Hunter. Our search for Dahlia cannot begin soon enough. Hello, Hunter. I hope you are well. I was hoping to ask you some questions. By all means, ask away. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. Get to work. Sometimes I even impress myself. teach you a thing or two. Sounds relaxing. If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. How can I help?
We need to take that monster out. Consider it done. all coming back to me. You were too weak for this fight. Your mother abandons you. to be our match today. So many fear your strength. Too easy. 
want me gone. haven't changed. I'm on it. They cannot possibly match your strength. No match for us. We've done it. Excellent work. I enjoy getting out there, even if the outcome is uncertain. You know, you're not as intimidating as you think you are. What brought this on? It is just a feeling. Feelings don't just come from nowhere, Hunter. <laughs> okay, okay. It is something I have noticed over time. You don't see me as hard to approach. In the beginning, yes, but I saw that it was part of your armor. A defense mechanism, huh? Close. I'm used to being business most of the time. And it's hard to shed that mentality after hours. Do you enjoy being perceived as intimidating? Depends on the person. I am always glad to hear what you think of me. Find me again for next time. 